<laughs> Ooh, we oui, man. I got a little treat for y'all today, man. A lot of you guys are looking to love this video. A lot of you guys are not gonna love this video, man. It's all opinion based at the end of the day, man. But today we're gonna go ahead and talk about this sick son of a right here. <laughs> Art the fucking clown, man. All right. Now look, a lot of people said that they don't want him in NK. And then a lot of people said that they didn't want him in NK, right? Because he is a brutal killer, you guys. Brutal, right? If you guys have seen the reviews on the last film, literally nine people, and I'll probably get that number wrong, but nine people literally walked out on opening night in the opening scene, you guys, all right? Now, that's already crazy in itself, man. Now, today's video, man, is going to talk about why Art the Clown deserves to be an MK, all right? Now, a lot of people have compared Art the Clown to Michael Myers, right? Because of how brutal his killings are, right? Not to be snaking for Michael Myers. Michael Myers is a very serious killer, man. You know, and he wears a size 12, maybe 13 in his shoe size. I don't want to mess with Michael. I'm going to be honest with you, you guys. But Art the Clown, man... This entity, and I'm gonna call it an entity because let's be real, man. Nobody knows where Art the Clown is came from, right? If you know, let me know in the comments down below, but I don't know where he comes from, right? Uh, this entity right here is just a bloodlusting, <laughs> absolute freak, dude. Like, literally. I, I, don't, I don't know how else to put it, man. He's literally a clown killer, like, literally, right? But it's so brutal, and the killings are so brutal inside of the movies, inside of the short films, you guys that i feel like he really deserves a spot in mk now i know a lot of people got a lot of mixed feelings about that but so let me go ahead and explain real quick you guys all right so i just realized my mask was off but after this video man if i cannot convince you that art the clown should des or deserve to be in this mk game man i don't know who else to be able to convince you man i don't know maybe you should go and talk to mark but i don't know you guys but look check me out you guys right art the clown right i believe that art the clown should be inside of the mk game because not only do we not have a character that doesn't have multiple weapons, but multiple guns, multiple everything, but we don't have a single character that has a single gun inside of this game, right? And I feel like Art the Clown would be a great character to just have all sorts of, you know, guns, weapons, you know, he has an arsenal of just about everything. Anything that this guy gets his hands on, he's going to get his hands on. Like at one point, this dude had a whole chainsaw, you guys a whole chainsaw and you telling me netherrealm can't implement like a chainsaw mechanic inside of this game right down like let what back left uh gosh damn it like that's a simple move to cook up you guys right back right square or back right circle either way man like that that's simple right boom right so all i'm saying is man that this character right is so iconic right now right that I feel like Netherrealm, number one, it would be super easy for them to get the license for this, right? Number two, right? The character has a variety of moves. He's creative. He's super creative, right? And to just put this creative character, bloodthirsty character inside of this game, right? I feel like this would be a fresh start to MK. Let's, that, let's just be real for like two seconds, you guys. Like, let's analyze for two seconds, right? We got Art the Clown in the game, right? He hits somebody with a, a crowbar or something like that, right? Or an, a nail bat or just anything like along those lines, right? That is that that's gonna be like clean. L literally, all across the board, that's clean. Like, let's be real, right? And his fatalities are gonna be over the top violent because it's Art the Clown. Why wouldn't it be over the top and violent? You know what I mean? So it's little things like that, right? I feel like it would be a fresh new ring to the game, right? It would be a guest character that a lot of people would like to see, right? Because number one, it's brand new to the franchise, right? And once again, I'm not comparing him to Michael Myers, but at the same time, I am going to compare him to Michael Myers because this is like a new brutal character, but not as serious as Michael Myers. You know what I mean? So we're getting this crazy, sick, statistic clown inside of this game, you guys. Not only that, but he's all over the top violent. Like, why wouldn't anybody put this character inside of MK, right? Or Terra, for that matter. You know what I mean? But it's just the little things like that, you guys, you know, I feel like that would be something that to keep the game fresh. Not only that, but Arthur Clown's brutalities would go absolutely stupid, you guys, right? And one moment he pulls out a gun, he's just shooting you with like 50 different rounds, right? Or another moment he's just hitting your head and like on the screen, right? I'm talking about smacking and it hits the screen, right? 
the, like little stuff like that i feel like deserves to be inside of mk you guys let me know in the comments down below how you guys are feeling about that man or am i just tripping right because it's not the aspect of this character just being brutal it's the aspect of this character actually being brutal and creative right and mk is all about killing people in a creative way it has always been like that right that's why mk1 hasn't been pushed or feel like it's you know mk because of the brutalities and the fatalities it's stuff that we've pretty much already seen you know and it's just reskins or it's just something that you know are similar that we saw like last year or something that we've seen similar in mkx right it's not as creative you know what i mean the creative aspect of the game is what makes mk mk right and when we see mk following in the footsteps of like i don't know uh see them following the footsteps of people like marvel you know and the iron man things and all that fiasco you guys you know um that kind of takes away from the creativity of um mortal kombat right that's why so many people want creative fighter creative fighter would add a creative aspect to the game right and i feel like art the clown has a bunch of creative aspects that we can actually add into this game that's why i think he did that's why i just think he uh deserves to have a spot on the roster you guys because this character is a balance between brutal and creativity it is literally art <laughs> you see what i did there you see what i did there if that doesn't even slightly put a vision in you guys' head man i don't know what else will man honestly like let's be real man the miscellaneousness of this character not only that but the creativity like come on you guys you can't ask for much more inside of mk let's be real creativity brutalities fatalities creativity and all that like, come on, y'all. But that's all I have for this video, man. Let me know how you guys feel about Art the Clown being inside of the MK game, you guys. I personally think that that would be fire, man. That would be a power move if they decided to add this character inside of the game, man. And I don't think it would be super hard to get the license for that character as well, man. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, man. Do you think Art the Clown deserves to be in the game? Do you guys think that he doesn't deserve to be in the game? Am I just tripping, man? Is he just another just brutal killer and that's why I want him in the game? Hey, maybe. I don't know. But that's all I got for this one, man. Make sure you guys are drinking a gallon of water a day, man. And make sure you guys are eating an apple a day because it keeps the doctor away, man. And I'm out. Peace.